Ahoy, and welcome back to my playthrough of Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space, Laura Better Blues. We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. Ah! What the hell was that all about? Hmm. Unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. It's some kind of semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Christmas saved. Santa pronounced dead at the scene. He's not dead, just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Hey, Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? Well, I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, well, what you got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Uh, wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless... It was summoned by T-H-E-M! Who summoned the triangle here? I told you! T-H-E-M! I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy! I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summon the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming! Why does the Bermuda Triangle have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the Triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys. They're coming for us. I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape, and I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids in a Y2K scare. We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time. The store's closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. You can't close the store, Bosco. Everything we value was bought or shoplifted from here. Don't you see? The end is nigh. Nigh? Yes, nigh. Wandering Bermuda Triangles, strange radio transmissions. Don't you see? 
It's T-H-E-M! They're coming! I have to relocate before it's too late! Where are you planning to go? Oh, uh-huh. You'd like me to tell you where my emergency bunker is. No chance. You'll have to stop goofing off and build your own. It's just like the fable of the grasshopper and the ant. If the ant were a paranoid lunatic. And the grasshoppers, too, come to think of it. How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them, if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do we communicate with the triangle? Well, they're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And sibyls, apparently. Mm-hmm. Those, too. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. Keep watching the skies, Bosco. Always. Hey, Bosco, why do you need a periscope? I don't. As long as this store stays above water. Why wouldn't it? Never you mind about that. And if we start to dive, don't let the pressure doors hit you on the way out. I was going to make a pun about a developing situation, but I thought better of it. It's a combination microwave and x-ray machine. Perfect! Now we can see what's living inside the burrito and then watch it die! Do you think we should have our own master plan? Not having a master plan is a master plan, Sam. It's like looking into Bosco's brain. Wanna bet? Not this time, little buddy. Amazing! There's a perfectly preserved squirrel and a bunch of imperfectly preserved popsicles. Bosco Tech Cryogenic Chamber and Ice Cube Maker. Whee! Hey Max, remember Banang, the painfully strong banana flavored drink mix? Sure, it's been off the market for 10 years and I still can't get it out of my mind. Or my kidneys. Get your paws off that. It's all for my secret bunker. Max Impeachment Weekly, Volumes 14, 15, and 16. Volume 17 comes out next week. Bet you can't tell where all these shots were taken from. Bet ya I don't care. What does she do now, anyway? I don't know, but whatever it is, she's doing even less of it than usual. Oh, damn it! Stupid spot! Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use... bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Hiya, Stinky. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa, Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Whatever happened to the original Stinky, anyway? He retired. Went on an around-the-world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, 
don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate and I refuse to collect calls. What is it with you guys? What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. We're ready to order. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. Max would like the kids special. That's for kids only. But I have a childlike sense of wonder. Hey, I don't make the rules. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialized in the more circular, interdimensional portals. Some expert. Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short term, but thanks. Bye, Stinky. Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm doing surveillance. Oh, boy. Real detective work. Who are you spying on? Some mug name of Bosco. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Keep on trucking. Love, Mother T. It's a gong with no gonger. Where's J.P. Morgan when you need her? Where's the band? I keep hiring drummers, but they keep combusting. And not slowly over time, either. Spontaneously. I don't have any quarters. No problem. The jukebox only takes 20s. This your pipe, Stinky? Yes, I looted it from the corpse of a 50-foot Sherlock Holmes. West Dakota. Wizards really made his mark. The Philippines. Come for the cockfighting. Stay for the chicken. Lake Titicaca. That can't be real. The fedora never goes out of style, or further out of style. Howdy, cops. How's the auto body business? Hello, we're working on... <coughs> Please calm down, lady! We're sorry, we cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. It's 
stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My... Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling. I'll save you. As I was saying, there's another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my mind, Sam! God, I hope not. tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation, too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui. The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific. Commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Oh, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. Got it. What exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then a terrible cataclysm. The great volcano god Ranakau would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. What do you want us to do? You must stop Ranakau from erupting and destroying us all. <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Deadbeat really is the universal language. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. 
then nothing until the iPod, followed by the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? Oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks, who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basil. Who are you guys, anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just ripe with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. What's the deal with all these triangles? The ancients used them to transport the sacred stones, and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing! It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. I'm just the way the carvers made me. What do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> oh, yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. It's a silver gong. Hello, we're Sam and Max, freelance police. What do you do? I'm the dead one of the What was that? I can't understand you. I'm dead and the dead one of the stone. Still can't understand you. Speak a little more clearly. I'm Sam! What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true! Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans. Live and learn. Look at all this junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the 20 commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Why the long face? It's just that we've been here for so long, and there's so little for us to do. I have to question the soul-crushing bleakness of our existence, and... Oh, wait. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Took him long enough to catch on. The way that sob story was going, I thought he was about to show us baby pictures and have us sign his yearbook. Not cool. Do you believe in all this prophecy of destruction, mumbo-jumbo? Of course I do. I can feel Rana Cow's anger rumbling even now. Me too, Sam. I think those tamales from Stinky's are repeating on me. Ah, scatological humor. Very classy. Cheer up, pal. So, your civilization is coming to a fiery cataclysmic end. Don't sweat it. I'm glad you can joke about the end of our civilization. I don't find it particularly funny. Lighten up, buddy. We're just trying to entertain the good people. 
Yeah, if you just smile, it'd draw attention away from your prominent brow ridge. So you're back to making fun of my appearance. Hmm? Very original. What's your story? If you must know, I am the keeper of the power of Earth. Sounds neat. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I'm not going to unleash the tremendous power of the Earth God on just a whim. Hey, how many volcano gods does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hackneyed and blasphemous. Sheesh! Tough island. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Is that supposed to be funny? Check this out, Max. It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything! It's a gold gong. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tyke belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the Fountain of Youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his Fountain of Youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. A little bit, a little bit. Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! Is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here. We'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. Oh, look, he's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Whee! Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Whee! Spring break! Whee! Pipe down, Chucklehead. No, 
Oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorphs Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Okay, I'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe.